Oh, look at that house over there. That's beautiful. I love the roof lines. Yeah, there's so many nice houses in this area. Uh, my name is Marshall Sherman. This is my wife, Tracy. We're both realtors with Century 21 in Woodstock. I've lived here pretty much my whole life. I moved here when I was four, so I know the area very well. And uh, we love this area. I, I love historic homes. Tracy not so naturally loves historic homes, but she brought me to this house. <laughs> that one's for sale. That one looks nice. We should go check it out. I love the carport on yeah, the front. Let's take a look. <laughs> when we walked in, uh, we just moved in to every room we walked through. We had an office, we had our bedroom. And by the time we got to the back of the house, it just felt like home, and so we bought the house. You know, ironically, we were not looking at buying an older home. We had lived in a newer home up in the Sally Creek subdivision. It's nice to have the new houses because then a lot of the new houses, sometimes they meet, well, often they meet code or whatever, but they're just more of a cookie cutter kind of home. And uh, what we liked about this is you come in and it's an older home and it's got charm and it's got character. And the rooms are larger because I envision uh, Christmas here and the kids and you have the room to have all the family over. I like the windows. Yeah. Oh, you can't buy windows like this. Hopefully we can find a way to keep these windows. Because when we got to the back of the house on the initial walk through, there was about an inch of ice on the back window and there was frost on the back door and we clearly knew something was wrong. I think that was probably March and it didn't really matter to us, although we knew we at some point- We had draft coming through the back door. Oh yeah, it was wind blowing through the house. And we knew at that point, if we bought it, that we were going to have to address insulation. Back then we thought it was probably gonna be some insulation in the attic and it turned out to be much more than that. Hi, hey, Mr. Hey. and Mrs. Sherman. Hi, Vernon. Hi, good hey. to see you. Yeah. Thanks for having me. When Great Northern came in, we thought we would just be doing blowing in some insulation in the attic, which is probably what a lot of homeowners think. After they talked to us about what they could do for us, it became clear that we needed to do much more than that. So when we come into these old historic homes, it's quite often that we run into construction practices of yesteryear that you know didn't take into consideration that air movement was a big uh, source of heat loss in a home. You know, heat was cheap back then. It wasn't a concern. So, you know, we see it all the time. So Great Northern Insulation works with our sister company, Barrier Sciences Group, to do blower door air testing. And what that does is we can induce a pressure on the house to basically draw air in on purpose to identify how much leakage is happening within the home. From that, we can find the sources of that air infiltration, and then that allows us to target them effectively. So Rick, I see that you've finished the first blower door test on the home. What kind of results were you seeing? Well, actually, Bernie, at minus 50 Pascal, we saw that we were drawing out 4,500 CFM of air. Hmm. Now, is that a lot, Rick? Actually, that is quite, quite a lot. Uh, normally, what we'd find in a situation like that is something down more around 2,000. Okay. So this house is extremely leaky at this time. Now, what I did notice on the go around with the blower door running, was that there was a lot of air infiltration at the ceiling joints and the windows and doors. Okay, so those would be good recommendations to make to our homeowners. Absolutely. Fantastic. Okay. Installation day was probably one of the best experiences we had with contractors. Um, Absolutely. They came in, uh, they, they loved this house as much as we did. They protected the walls, they protected the floors. They zoned their workspace off with plastic so that Nothing from the attic was getting into the house. Uh, we didn't have to worry about the health and safety of us or our pets or our kids. We were living in the home at the yeah, time, we were. so they were very accommodating for us doing everything in the house. Yeah. When we first got up into the attic, the first thing that we noticed that there was some interior walls that actually were terminating into the attic space. So you could see right down into the basement from the attic. So and right away, that tells us that there's going to be some air leakage that's passing up through the house and into the attic. So we knew we needed to treat that. As we worked our way down into the basement, we found that there was uninsulated rubble foundation walls. Uh, these are typically sources of humidity, moisture that can enter in through the foundation walls. And because they weren't insulated, it felt really cold. We hadn't given a lot of thought to the basement, and now that's been completely spray foamed on all of the exterior walls. Plus we've had vapor barrier put down in the crawl space we have, which was dirt. And uh, <laughs> now it's so much drier down there. So while windows can be leaky, so can transitions at the floor here. And you can see with this thermal imaging camera that I've brought that there's some cold spots that were identified by this darker color in oh, the yeah. image. Yeah. 
So after the, the major portion of work was done, we wanted to use some trimming techniques by using uh, various types of tools and materials to do some final air leakage reduction, and that is caulkings that we used around the windows. We used some weather seal gasketing around doorways and, and other windows that, uh, that had sliders. And they really went through the house from top to bottom and explained to us what needed to change, and not just what needed to change, but specifically why it needed to be changed which makes you much more comfortable investing in something like this when you have an understanding of what's at the end of the road. You know, they'd identified that, you know, perhaps at some point in the future they may want to replace the windows, but they really did enjoy the look of them in the way that they were. And with it coming into the heating season, you know, and them being as drafty as they were, we come up with a solution of using a temporary caulking measure that's a removable caulking that you can use to air seal those windows uh, so that in the cold season you don't have that draftiness and then in the spring when they want to use the windows to open up and let fresh air in that they were still able to do that. Rick, how's it going? Hey, Bernie. Good to see you. Good to, Good see, to see you. you. So you've completed your final blower door test. Yes. And after the last bit of air sealing measures that we've done for the Shermans here, what kind of results are we seeing? We actually got some terrific numbers here today, Bernie. Great. On top of the initial 40% reduction in air sealing from the first test, today showed us that your work has improved the air tightness of the home an additional 6% for a total of 46%. 46%. Exactly. Wow. So, I think the homeowners are going to be extremely pleased with this reduction in air infiltration and be a lot more comfortable in their home. Definitely noticing a difference throughout the house. More equal heat, like when you walk around, our office at the front of the house used to be, it, it can be freezing, like it just had no temperature control to it at all. You were either scorching hot in there or you were freezing in there. That would be one of the probably the biggest differences is just in this old house going into the different rooms and it being all regular temperature now. From a personal standpoint, when you have a homeowner that has results that they feel right away and they, they're commenting on it before you're even gone out of their lives, I mean, to me, that's just, a, a, I take a sense of pride. So I think our thoughts going into this winter is we're excited to see what happens with the changes that have happened with Great Northern being here. Uh, we're excited to not have ice on the inside of our house and, uh, you know, I'm interested in seeing what's going to happen with the bills that come in. I'm uh, looking forward to them being less than uh, they probably would have been, for sure. And uh, we shall see what happens in the spring. Ready to renew your old home? Visit MyNewOldHome.ca.